I'm sorry.
the scriptural read tells us of the fact that there are people who live on earth, play their parts, and left their reputation. And there are others who live on earth, play their part, and never left anything. They die and they are soon forgotten. But here we are today, remembering someone, a great person, our own late president, who had one accolade, I am for peace. A word that he used that today still resound in the minds and the years of almost every Ghanaian. And not only Ghanaians, but all who heard him. This is the man that many who knew him and were his students who say he was a man of principle, a man of integrity, a man with value. His brother could say that he never heard him ever saying any insulting word, even from his school days from class one through to class seven when he completed school. Such is the man we are here celebrating today. What did he live for? He lived for nothing but for his country. He served his country with all his might, with all his soul, with all his strength, and lived for such a nation that he could say that even with my last breath, I will still remain and fight for this nation. Hallelujah. He lived and worked hard that even as he is dead, we still remember the good deeds that he did. And this good deeds that he did will never be raised in the minds of Ghanaians and people outside this nation of ours. A man who was selfless, a man who always sought for peace, when others were insulting, he would only be calm and said, Emise, we pass from day, and so end the name as from day him. And he deserved it, because his brother could say that all through his life, this man never bore grudges. He was so much ready to forgive all who did one thing either against him or the other. Such is the man we are remembering today. The question that I put to ourselves is, what would we also be remembered for? To be almost a month after the elections in the U.S. where a woman shall be the president of the United States of America. We create an opportunity for women too here in Ghana. Our vice president on the 7th of January, 2025, Professor Nana J. Kukumaji is also here. The national chairman of the National Democratic Congress, the young man, Honorable Johnson Asilu Ingitia, is here. The chief scribe of the party, Honorable Fifi Fiavi Kwete, is also here with us. The Venerable Chairman of the J.E. Mills Memorial Heritage, Honorable Alex Pesiva Sebofia, is also here. And also our host member of Parliament, the Honorable, Honorable Senator Ajiman Rollins. We have the former National Chairman, Honorable Samuel Ufusu Ampofu is also here with us. Let me acknowledge the Deputy General Secretary, Barbara Samuel is here. All national executives who are here, please, I cannot cite all of you. Can we give me a wave? All national executives who are here, all national executives, thank you very much, national executives, for coming. All regional executives, give me a wave. All regional executives, give me a wave. Thank you very much. Let me also acknowledge the presence of Honorable Tawia Kwe. Ajay Tawia, Ajay Tawia, the Metropolitan Chief Executive for Kole Kulote is here, representing 
the president. Please, Mr. Sanchi, I know I want to see you. Yeah, I want to see you. Yeah, thank you very much. You've come. God bless you for coming. In fact, let me say that he is one of the children of Kofsanos, even though he's lost his way. <laughs> The Living Choir will give us a song after which we shall acknowledge others who are present here. Thank you.